Hello guys and welcome back to So That's Gaming and another exploit video. This time we're going to be working on a new system, the PlayStation 3, and we're going to be installing custom firmware on official firmware version 4.82, which is the current firmware that is available at the time of this recording. Now, all of the FAT systems are compatible with this exploit. Most of the slim versions are compatible, but none, I repeat none, of the slim, super slims will be compatible with this method. Now there's two different types of system storage that is used on the PlayStation 3 FAT. They're an old school chunky console. Uh, it used a NOR or it used a NAND system. Uh, this will matter later on when we get to the web portion of the exploit. Um, also, there are, you need to have on the slim models, the easiest way to find out if your console is compatible is by running a minimum version check tool from your uh, PlayStation to verify. Um, first, you're going to download this tool and, and I'll include links in the description. This right here is my flash drive, and I'm going to create a couple folders here. First folder we're going to create is PS3. And inside this folder, we're going to create another folder called Update. Okay, and inside that folder is where we will place the PS3 Update Pup. And we're going to place that in the Update folder on our flash drive or USB stick. So before we continue, the first thing we do, we're going to check to make sure our console is compatible. So go ahead and inject your USB drive. We're going to go over to the console now. All right, so here we are. We're on our PlayStation 3, and I have the USB drive, which we put the minimum version check tool on in the rightmost USB port. After you plug that in, we're going to go to System Update, Update via Storage Media, and you'll scan the version check tool. Go ahead, OK. It'll kind of give like an error. Update version was 3.2 or later can be installed on the system. Now, this number is what's very important. It's 3.2. That 3.2 should say 3.56 or lower. If your minimum original factory shipped firmware is greater than 3.56, you cannot use this exploit on the slim. So now that we've checked that our console is in fact compatible, we're going to go back. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my USB drive. This uh, exploit is designed to be ran on system version. 4.82 as I said the most current at the time of this recording so we'll go to system settings I'm going to check to see where my system there we are my current version is 4.81 so I'm going to need to go ahead and update my console all right here you are, as I said before, the current latest update available for the PlayStation 3 at the time of this recording is 4.82. I'm going to need to go ahead and update my console so that we're able to run this exploit properly. You've all seen this before. Alright. All right, now that the update is done and our uh, console has go ahead and rebooted, 
let's go ahead and go to system settings and verify that it has updated and we are on version 4.82 so from here we're going to go back to the computer we need to get a few more files for the next step of the custom firmware process so let's go and switch to the computer all right now that we are done confirming that our console is on the correct firmware and its minimum version is one that is compatible with the exploit, that being minimum version 3.56 or lower, I'm going to go back to the computer here. I got my flash drive opened up in one folder. Ignore these other files right here. These are just files that I haven't finished moving to my computer. And over here is where we downloaded the, uh, the Rebug custom firmware. I've ordered the your, when you download it, it won't look like this. So you have to rename it to PS3 update or updat.pup. And this is the toolkit that goes along with the custom firmware. So on your S on your USB flash drive, you gotta put that into the PS3 update folder. As you see, I've already put it here. And we're gonna go ahead and take this PKG file and we're just gonna copy it to the root of our flash drive. And so that's all we will need to do on the computer side. So let me take you over to the PlayStation side. Um, let's see here. All right. So we are going to take ignore that. We're gonna take our our on our PS3 browser. We're gonna open up. This web page uh, that will be displayed on the screen here. All right, it's important to note that when you launch your PS3's web browser, to go ahead and hit the triangle and go to and reset your home page to a blank page and save it. Go ahead and close your web browser and relaunch it because we don't want any additional memory to be eaten up by any other pre-cached web pages. By setting it to a blank page, we prevent this. And this is, we you need to do this to prevent any issues with uh, the exploit running, because if it runs out of memory space, then uh, the exploit could fail or not run properly or pop, possibly cause additional problems. So we'll navigate to that web page. This is a new type. Uh, you just, you don't need to put the browser exploit on the USB drive. You can use this right off the hard drive, as it states here. This is the hard drive edition. So, uh, once you get this page loaded up, the uh, splash screen will show up, let you know that it's successful. Just hit OK, and this will be what you'll see. Uh, move your cursor down to the press here. You're going to select this. You don't hit anything, hit triangle. A menu will open up on the side and you'll choose file save target system storage and save it as a photo this is a modified JPEG file and it will show you where it will get uh, saved to after that's done you can initialize the exploitation and once it succeeds you'll be able to patch the NAND flash memory after that flash after that's done it used to go ahead and beep a couple times and then turn off automatically. It no longer does that because there's also another tool that comes along with this uh, to verify that the patch was successful. I will link that in the description as well. It's a similar web page. Uh, read up on it yourself. Uh, I'm showing this on my computer because uh, I had some issues using the original one on my uh, PlayStation they have some problems getting the flash properly, but I finally got to work. So, after this, you can go ahead and shut down, and we're going to go through the install of the, uh, the custom firmware after we uh, reboot. We have our flash drive back in the system. We're going to update via storage media, and it should find the rebug. It wouldn't see this if the exploit didn't run successfully. So we're going to go ahead, okay, and we're going to go ahead and install this custom firmware onto the system. Blah, 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 accept the agreement, accept, 
and start. Now it's going to install this update from the USB drive onto the system which will enable custom firmware. And there. There we go. Just checking for the update data that it just copied to the system. Alright, I was having a bit of an issue at this point, but uh, you guys shouldn't because, well, there, there was a new way of getting everything set up. So, uh, this will go through and install, and then when it's done, it will reboot your system. Alright, so after the install is done, it should reboot, and if everything was done successfully, you'll be greeted with a new Rebug logo that replaces the PS3 logo. There it is, Rebug. Alright, so the, the custom firmware was successfully installed. We're going to go ahead and install a package file which will unlock many features. This might help to turn on the controller, huh? Alright, go down, go down to Package Manager, install package file. I went ahead and put it in the root of my flash drive, so we go to Standard. Uh, let me go back, I'll just show you that a little bit more. Alright, so install packages from the internal hard drive if they get copied there, and then you can make a uh, packages directory on the storage device, your uh, USB flash drive or USB hard drive, whatever. And standard, it solves them from the root. So mine's in the root, so here it is the root. Rebug Toolbox. I'm going to go ahead and install that. Done. Alright, go ahead and go back. And then now we have this Rebug Toolbox. It's got all kinds of other tools and things involved. <laughs> um, if you don't know much about it, I wouldn't mess with it too much because it's, it's very detailed. It's got all kinds of stuff. So, but. Uh, we're not going to get into that because I don't know much about that and so maybe I'll do a future video on that. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see a video detailing the, or going through some of the settings in the Rebug Toolbox. So there you go. If you have the App Home PS3 game and the Package Manager, you are on custom firmware. Congratulations. You are able to install Homebrew and play game backups, which we will all be doing in a future video. So thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And let me know if there's anything on the PS3 you'd like me to cover in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to get subscribed. Keep coming back for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.